Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at a new cruiser line. This is the new Commonwealth cruiser line here. The tier 10 is the Cerberus. And what makes this line unique is you actually get yourself crawling smoke combined with this new sur submarine surveillance radar. This is gonna help you deal with subs as a team. Eight kilometer range here feels pretty good, although 20 second action time, not all that great. But this crawling smoke is going to be very interesting. This is a heavy cruiser with a crawling smoke ability. These 203 millimeter guns, you get 12 of them. The reload's not great. Uh, 9.2 seconds is okay. But if we compare it to, let's say, a Des Moines, another 203 millimeter cruiser, well, we're lacking a lot of DPM there. Des Moines has 274,000 HE DPM, whereas the Cerberus only has 202,000. So. Missing around 70k HE DPM base. And uh, the AP is honestly even worse as far as DPM cons is concerned. Uh, Des Moines gets nearly 500,000, 490,000 DPM on its uh, AP shells base. Whereas the Cerberus is just shy of 300,000 at 289,000 AP DPM. And I know Des Moines has a lot of DPM, that's kind of its gimmick, but still, it is something to consider that this ship is reliant on its guns to do damage. Notice how we don't have a radar option here at all, uh, outside of, I guess, submarine radar, but I mean, that doesn't count as much for dealing with caps and DDs. So we're reliant on doing damage. Fortunately, we do have a little better shell velocity than in Des Moines, so we should have slightly better arcs, as well as just having better range baked in. So this ship should be able to farm relatively easily, especially combined with that crawling smoke. We get decent concealment here with a full build, only 10 kilometers of uh, detection, which is pretty nice. Uh, 7.3 kilometer detect when shooting in our smoke. That's something that we have to be aware of. Uh, this smoke isn't going to help us all the time, especially if we push up to very close ranges. No super heal here, unfortunately, and that could be a bit of an issue considering the size of the citadel on this thing and the overall lack of armor. I have propulsion mod here, but I'm considering swapping over to rudder. We'll see. I haven't played the ship yet. This, of course, is the first impressions. So we'll see how it goes. I might just get blown up, but 11 second rudder doesn't sound very good. Uh, but then, of course, we're going to lack propulsion mod, which is very useful if we're using smokes and island cover. So I'm not sure what to make of this thing yet. We might end up going for a little bit less concealment and trading that for some maneuverability. The armor here, as you can see, pretty large citadel above water, although it doesn't extend under the guns, so it is only in the middle of the ship. Uh, if you angle it, you should be able to auto bounce some shells, as you can see here, 152 with 38 behind, so not really gonna get overmatched in your citadel, at least in this spot. So if you're angling properly, there's a bit of black hole armor there to deal with, although only 51 mil on the front here, and uh, you're not gonna be having too much issues going through this. Only 25 mil, everything's gonna pin that. So it's, at close range, it's gonna get smashed. Uh, I think it's just how we're gonna have to deal with this, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have a smoke. That is the whole idea here. Our AA is really bad, nothing really to write home about. So uh, we'll ignore that for now. Torpedoes wise, it seems like we get kind of the Brisbane torps, I suppose. Uh, we get decent damage on them, but the range, 13 and a half kilometers, feels pretty nice. Although we don't have as many. There's only one launcher per side. So you get four torps per side, and that's not amazing, but uh, I think the star of the show here is certainly going to be the main guns. That's what we got to focus on. And with that in mind, this is the commander I'm going to start with. I figured uh, I would try running some consumable specialist stuff since we are so reliant on those, I think, uh, especially that crawling smoke. We're going to want to make that last a little bit longer as well as get back to it uh, a little sooner. Sorry, this one gets you back to it and then last a little bit longer. Although Demo Expert and Heavy HE could be a way to go with this thing if we want to maximize the damage farming potential, which maybe I'll try in the second game. Start with a full conceal and then uh, maybe the second game we play today. I'll uh, decide to run more of a lighthouse build and see what we can get up to as far as damage is concerned. Uh, but this is the build that I'm going to run with. Let's take this into some games and see how it plays. Alrighty, we're into the game finally. Let's see what this ship can do. Okay, we can definitely farm over this. Although detected here kind of sucks. I might actually just use the smoke here already. A little early for it, but uh, let's just make sure we don't die instantly. Now our damage is 
mostly going to come from the HE, I think. Uh, just because the AP here does not get any sort of improved net pen angles like we would see on a Des Moines, for example. But uh, decent damage so far. Not the best. But it is a Columbo. That's pretty heavily armored. I launched some random torps here. May as well try. Turpit's coming through the mid here. Maybe we can get a cheeky little shot. Yes, we can. All right. Now, keep in mind, it is a... It's a Crawling Smoke, so we can't actually go that quick with it. Uh, but let's pop a Hydro? Do we need a Hydro? Nah, everything's been mostly spotted outside of the Sam Martin, I guess. Which could be a problem for us. But we're playing with our teammates. Submarine is on that side, which makes me kind of want to go there, to be honest with you. Get our sub radar into the mix. But we'll slowly crawl along here. Turpit's making a very aggressive play. In fact, Yamato's in our range. I'll have to get used to having this much range uh, on this ship, honestly. And we pushed out of our smoke just like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a slow smoke. I don't play with these crawling smokes very often. Uh, sure. Let's torp there for potential of Martin or something. Okay, Turpit's done. That's good. Now, we did not get a lot out of that first smoke. That's okay. Okay, a fire. Not bad. Oh, it's so slow to accelerate. Oh my goodness. It is so slow to accelerate. Yeah, we might need to run less conceal and focus a little bit more in on uh, a little better maneuverability. We'll see if that's going to be required yet. Oh, a daring. All right, let's see what our damage can be on a DD. Now, we certainly have to turn away because we're broadside onto Yamato. Alpha damage is okay. Uh, that's not like amazing alpha damage by any means, but it's all right. Martin's in on us, and so is Yamato. Oh boy, here it comes. The overmatch. <laughs> he didn't even get a Citadel there, guys. Oh no. That sucks. But that's how it goes. That is how it's going to go. Uh, a minute until we get our smoke. That's a long time. We all wait for him to shoot, and then I'll fire. This is a nice part about having some concealment, I suppose. Should have saved my smoke, though. Wait, he damage controlled. There was a fire on him. Alright, we'll greed. We'll try and greed it. We might just get smashed by this guy. That's okay. 4,700 there from 7 full pens. And the sub is on our flank still. Okay, there's a fire. Feels good. Our turret angles aren't bad, actually. Oh, he didn't even shoot me. Nice. Staring gets spotted again. Eight shatters. Too bad. Oh, he did for a second. I'll try. Okay. We're mostly safe, I think, now. We'll have our... Smoke back here. There we go. Now we get to farm for free a little bit here. Maybe some consumables or upgrades that allow us to get back to the smoke quicker would be better than absolute duration on this thing. I don't know. We'll see. We're always going to be moving in this. Oh, we can ex we can reverse too quick. Oh, no, guys. You can reverse too quickly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of bad. Alright, that's a blind shot. We'll hope that it doesn't, uh, randomly sit at all us. And it doesn't. Nice. And we will hydro here. I'm not going to use the sub surveillance just yet. Team's not doing so hot, unfortunately. I'm trying to hit the bow of the motto here. I'm trying to guarantee some full pens alongside uh, some more fires here. Oh, please, let me kill this guy. Nice. Okay, he's done. Enemy 
we're blind dropping, apparently. Why are we blind dropping? I guess my team is all dead. Fair enough. Now, we have a really good fire chance here, like 20%. Aha, hello. Wait, he's outside? Oh, I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. I thought I would catch him. Silly me. Torpedoes to starboard. Fortunately, I think I have to rep that and try and accelerate. Torpedoes to starboard. Problem solved, sir. Or we just don't accelerate. Torpedoes to starboard. <laughs> Torpedoes to starboard. Oh, it does not move. This ship does not move, dude. Oh man. Okay. Smoke screen set. That is unfortunate. But this ship does not move. And I wasted my uh, radar for the sub like an idiot. Okay, rough team. I also misplayed it. Uh, turret damaged. instantly done. Dang. Unfortunate. You know what? Screw it. Let's try some AP. We're going to die to the sub or the Yamato overmatch anyway. So let's see what we can do to this Smolensk. Maybe we get a little something in on him. Oh, wiggle? Uh, please. Okay. Yeah, AP might not have been worth it. We have a minute to go until our smoke. Not great. That's not great. And yeah, we're just permalite lit by the sub, unfortunately. Yamato should have a shot here soon. So let's try the slow down turn out technique. It is very sluggish. But I think it'll work this time. There we go. Very lucky that this Smolensk is also just deciding to miss us as well. At these ranges, it should be pretty easy for him to do some good damage. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're that close already. Huh? Torpedoes to starboard. Sir? Eight kilometers? Torpedoes to starboard. Are you outside of eight already? But the ping was here. Torpedoes to but the starboard. ping was at like five. What? Is it bugged? Wait, is it bugged? Oh no, dude. The ship that's supposed to deal. <laughs> This this line is supposed to counter subs. Oh no. Is it bugged? Maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's bugged. I don't know. Maybe he was outside of eight? But that ping was around five. Is that really the range that those splashes can come from? He can be outside of eight and the splash shows up at five for me? Oh, I hate subs. Okay, I'm not gonna just turn every video into a I hate subs and carriers. But dang, dude, like, wow. I hate subs. I hate carriers, man. <laughs> All right, let's try a bit more of a lighthouse build. Oh my goodness, Wargaming. Why? <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Still feel like I need some concealment, yeah? 14-2 is pretty bad. And let's do specialist, I guess. There. That'll be that'll be our build for this one. Um, wow. Let me try and get over this in the loading screen, and uh, let's jump into another one. Like, I'm not being dumb and reading this wrong, right? Like, detect submarines at maximum and spare periscope depths. Sh shouldn't that just detect him? Or was he on the surface? Does this not get them on the surface? If so, that's really dumb. Oh, I hate, I hate subs and oh. Dude, this is why I try and avoid it at all costs, okay? This is a rant I give most of the time when I stream, but YouTube, you're gonna get it today, okay? You're welcome. I hate subs and carriers, man. The balancing decisions make zero sense, dude. All they're here for is to ruin games. That's just all they do. They don't add anything interesting. They force you to camp. They force you to run away. That's your only counter to them. And then anytime they try and do anything to sort of make it balanced and say, hey, we're going to nerf subs. Yeah, it's just actually a buff, actually. Great. 
I hate it so much, man. And then we get this stupid sub-surveillance that doesn't even work when they're on the surface. Is that it? Am I getting that right? Oh, it gets me so mad, man. It's just easily the worst part about this game. I hate it so, so, so much. And this is a line that's supposed to counter them, so I'm okay with talking about it here. But it's on I only have negative things to say, and that's it. And I try to make my videos somewhat positive and look for the bright side of things, and I try to not focus on the negatives, because who wants to just hear about the negatives about a video game? It's a video game. You're just supposed to enjoy it and have fun, right? Like, I try not to just focus on the negatives all the time, because that's not what I want this channel to be about. I don't want myself to only see the negative things in life, right? Like, it's a bit of a cho- it, it's, it's a choice. It is a choice, right? But man, it just- Oh, it tilts me so quickly, man. The way this game is. Oh, it's so, so, so frustrating. Alright, I will- I will- I will get over this. I will get over this. It's fine. Let's, uh, farm a GK. But, wow, we do not slow down very quickly. Ichi spam from smoke. This is what everybody wanted, right? Five thousand damage and a fire is pretty good. This being a British, or I mean, it's Commonwealth, right? But like British Commonwealth, kind of. I would expect the HE to hit a little harder, maybe. Maybe I'm like not being realistic here, but wasn't that the whole thing? Like Goliath. I, I mean, it's a different line, obviously, but maybe it does hit hard. Maybe my expectations are just out of line. I mean, this guy's just gonna full push, so those torps won't even be worth sending. Oh, we got the rear fire. And that is a damage control. Let's use our hydro so that we don't uh, just randomly get torped here to death. Even though we are moving, it is important to always consider that someone could lead the torps in your smoke. Oh, this guy's got the uh, damage control module. His immunity time was pretty long. 30k already. That's pretty decent, I would say. It is a GK. It's pretty free XP. Pretty free to farm, but still. I will take it. And it's slow, but we can move this smoke, yeah? So, we'll get a little bit of a uh, look in on this guy here. Although someone else got a double fire. And we'll have to angle away because our smoke is done now. Smoke screen set. Without the fires, it might feel like the DPM is a little lacking. Not gonna lie. You really need those fires. Poor GK. But uh, I guess that's how it goes as a GK when you push in. Rip airship escort. 10 second travel time to 16 kilometers. That's okay, I guess. That's okay. It's not, like, terrible. It's not great, though. You know, it's it's not the fairest comparison, but, like, Russian cruisers, Moskva. It's, like, 10 seconds to 20 kilometers. Okay, sub's coming this way. All right, let's, let's see. Let's see if we can't go uh, deal with this guy. I will say, even with propulsion mod, man, this this thing feels so sluggish. I can't imagine it without prop mod. Okay, fire. That's good. And the rudder shift feels nice. I mean, having worse concealment could be a death sentence in these uh, tier 10 games, but for now it's okay. I really wonder what the AP's like into cruisers, broadsides. I'm not gonna risk it here into this Des Moines, because, you know, it's... He's going behind an island. Okay, he's at 11. Did this guy damage con? I think he did. I also need to remember we have three of these flights. I'll use two. Okay, is that a permafire? It might be. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, he's just staying there. Oh, weird. 10.3. Alright, let's try and get within range here. It should be 8, yeah? Okay, that's a decent hit. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. So, 8 kilometers. I want him to go dark. Ideally. So I'm actually not going to drop him here, because we want to test something. Okay, he's dark. Okay, it works when he's underwater. Okay, so he must have been on the surface, which still, to me, feels like really, really dumb. And I wish it was uh, just spot subs within seven. Like, why couldn't it just been Hydro does it? Why can't Hydro just spot subs? Man, like... Uh... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. Alright, I'm a little scared of the crossfire there. Yeah. Wow, we take so long to slow down. Fortunately, he didn't shoot us. I don't know why he didn't. It's a damage control, but I'm going to swap to the uh, AP here, since he's so broadside. And let's see. Although with him hitting the border, this might not be so good. That's a decent... That's kind of where I wanted to hit. I mean, that's... That's fine, I guess. I mean, the HE is just better, man. I know we're buffing it here a bit, like, with heavy AP in that, but this is just going to be an HE spammer. And I guess we're getting a bit of the issue here where you use a smoke and then suddenly there's nothing to shoot at within range and it's a bit of a waste. One of the downsides of this uh, smoke generator. But being able to move a little bit helps a lot, I think. Something else to consider here is our turret traverse is really slow. It took me forever to actually... Swap my turrets around to the other side. That is a little painful, not gonna lie. So it's a bit of a big, clumsy cruiser. And... I mean, your survivability really is... Just this smoke. At least we're a bit maneuverable with this uh, specific build. Uh, Vermont crossfires could be bad for us. He's pretty far away, though. You should be shooting soon. Again, not shooting me. What is going on? Why aren't people shooting at me? The test ship, man. Maybe people think it's better armor? Try and aim bow. Oh, I should definitely be torping this guy too, by the way. Okay, there's a shot. I mean, overpens? Like, that's pretty lucky for us. That it only overpenned. Another fire, good. It's, it's, I mean, it's a big risk. Uh, okay. Enemy battleship sunk. Okay. Uh, didn't die to the zoom out close range. I think that's luck more than anything, or just not knowing where to aim. You just got to aim in front of this area here. Ooh, there's carrier. I don't really want to go after him though, to be honest. I want to go after this Yodo. And actually, let's get some AP to see what this Yodo is going to look like. Vermont's far enough away. And, uh... Maybe this Yodo pops out. It's unlikely. I mean, he's probably... Yeah, just going to angle. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. And he's got Torps. So, no Hydro here is a little spooky. But we get to see the carrier. Let's see if we can do a bit of damage here with the HE. I don't 
Maybe I should try the AP. Because fires are just going to do nothing because it's carrier. Carrier is, of course, well known for not worrying about fires at all because they can just put them out in two seconds. Yeah, maybe we get Yodo here. Although he's slowing down. Vermont's not looking at us, for now at least. I will torp here. Okay, AP, what do you got for me? Okay, Citadels, all right. It's not bad. The alpha damage is a little low, but hey, I've still got Citadels there. And another one. I will take it. Try and do a little tier to this Vermont. But I still want to go find that Hakuryu before he gets behind this island. Ideally. Last HE. Yeah, this is a problem now. We don't have AA, as it turns out. Finishers? No. Surely these get him, yeah? Smoke generator activated. Yeah, we did it. Alright. Uh, is Yodo gonna turn? Maybe. Doesn't look like he's gonna give us broadside, though. So I will go to the HE here. And unfortunately, I'm the one spotting. Wow, we have 56k spotting damage. That's not bad. And we're at 175. That's pretty good damage game. I just kind of realized where we're at damage-wise. Interesting. It's pretty good. So maybe this is a one where you want to run Lighthouse a bit more. Oh my goodness, the Torps take ages to turn. Maybe. Maximize your DPM a little bit more. Since you do have the smoke to make up for, for concealment. Has seven full pens for 3,000 damage. That's not great out of the HE. Oh, he's slow, so he's not drifting as much. Turrets are slow to turn, so that's why I'm not, like, super eager about swapping over to this Vermont. It's a weird ship, man. I don't know if it's going to be bad, though. You know, ha having a smoke that lasts this long, that you can kind of move around a little bit in, is a good thing. And as much as it tilted me, I mean, having this sub-counter is better than nothing. So, I guess I'll take it. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Oh, I didn't get him with the Torb. Too bad. Set. I was hoping maybe a double was in there. Nearly 200k, three kills. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously gonna have to play with it more, but that's a decent first impression. You know, ignoring subs and carriers, but as we always have to do. Not bad. Uh, we didn't get shot at that much. 360,000 potential damage is very low, especially considering how it's playing. So I'm assuming that's going to be very different once people understand that this thing is just made of paper. You know, all, all that Azumo had to do was hit here, right? You don't hit the belt, you hit right in front of it. So really just aim under the front turret. And then uh, you just overmatch through this exterior. And then you hit the Citadel for free and it's 51 millimeters. That's like nothing. Uh, and it should be big enough to arm a lot of the incoming fire as well. Unless there's like some hidden plating that we don't know about here. Is there? Uh, oh, they're not gonna show us. Sometimes they have like hidden plates in here that make things tank here. Um, this is just the edge of uh, where the Citadel is to kind of close in that little gap that we see uh, right here. You see how there's that gap between these two plates? That, uh, that little bit of extra. See how it just fills it in? 
that's not exactly that's not an angled plate sometimes there's like angled inner plates here to just prevent citadels i don't know they try and hide a lot of stuff uh from us so it's hard to know but i think it should be pretty vulnerable uh but hey you got that smoke to deal with and the reload's okay the damage is okay i think uh with the full lighthouse kind of build or more of a lighthouse build it'll do better than uh, without but then it's a little bit tricky with your concealment and the lack of maneuverability here so we'll see but uh, that's the first impressions so far on the Cerberus. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.